Hello there folks, how are you doing? It's lovely to see you again and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea. I hope that I find you all very well indeed. So tonight for tea I made these amazing cheese and onion pasties. You know, not one for you if you're watching your calories but they are such a lovely treat. These are very popular in this country and all over the UK actually as a wee snack on the go. They're a wonderful handheld snack or you can have them for your tea which is what we done. I made four and all of the ingredients you will find in the show more box underneath this video. They're very popular here in a store called Greg's. It's just a sort of bakery chain and they do lots of these types of baked or sort of pastry snacks. They are very high in calories as you can see but they are absolutely delicious but they're so easy to make and this is what I was going for here. I didn't manage to get them as flat as Greg's do. I don't know how they managed to do that but yeah I gave it my best shot but they were very tasty despite not looking exactly like this. But just before I move on I wanted to say a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page so thank you very much guys and there have been a few of you over the last week as well so thank you to you as well. So let's get right into it. This is everything that I used but like I said before all of these ingredients will be in the show more box underneath. If you just click the show more it'll you know pull down a wee box and you'll find the weights and grams and ounces and everything that I'm using. Now this looks like quite a lot of potatoes but I am actually making two batches of these so, so if you end up making them and you, you don't think you've got enough tatties don't worry I actually ended up making more. I'm using pre-rolled shop-bought pastry but if you want to use your own by all means do so but puff pastry is quite a laborious task and it does take a wee while and I think this you know pre-made pastry is an absolute lifesaver especially for something like this so let's go and see what I've done and how they turned out so the first thing I done was boiled my potatoes so you just want some cold water and to that just add your potatoes. I used three sort of medium sized potatoes. Don't worry I know this is more but you'll need about three sort of small to medium potatoes. So just let them come to the boil in some cold water and then you can add your salt because if you add your salt into the cold water they'll take longer to boil. And once they're nice and soft just drain the water out and give them a good mash for a couple of minutes. Don't be tempted to add any butter or cream or anything because your mixture will become too loose and we're going to add some butter in a wee minute from the onions anyway. So that's fine. So just set that to the side. Now we're going to fry the onions. So get a good knob of butter. <laughs> Let that melt. And to that you want to add a medium onion. Just make sure it's finely chopped. You don't want big chunks of onion in this. Once they're nice and soft, you can add that to your cooled mashed potato along with your cheese and your cream cheese. And a couple of teaspoons of mustard and just give that a good stir together. And don't worry if your cheese doesn't fully melt because you'll usually find in these sort of things, you know, you do have a wee flick or two of cheese in there anyway. So that's absolutely fine. So set that to the side and now you're going to cut out your pastry. So like I said before, I'm just using this pre-rolled shop-bought puff pastry, which I love. If you're good at pastry, make your own, of course. So just roll this out and from this you want to get eight equal squares of pastry. So I've just cut out four sort of long strips and then I've gone across the middle to make eight. I've rolled mine out just a wee bit more just to get it a wee bit thinner. So once you have your eight pieces, all you have to do is spoon on your filling. Now don't overfill these because you don't want them to burst, but at the same time, you do want a good amount of filling in there because your pastry, when it bakes, will expand upwards and give you quite a bit of room in there for your filling. Then you'll want to brush your edges with some beaten egg. Just go around your edges and then when you flip your lid on, you know that's going to act as a kind of glue. Then all you have to do is make sure your edges are well pressed down and sealed because you don't want all your mixture leaking out. So I've just gone round and pressed all of mine down. And then with a fork, I'm just going to go round the edges with the tines just to, you know, make doubly sure that your, li your, your liquid, <laughs> your mixture isn't going to come out. So with the tines, just go round and press down the edges all the way round. 
and I'm just going to trim off the excess pastry just to make it a wee bit prettier. You don't have to do this. It's just me. I'm just a bit, st <laughs> I'm a bit strange that way. I like things to be nice and neat. So just do that four times and that's you. And with your remaining egg, just brush the tops. You know, just this is, this is going to give you a nice sort of glossy top when they come out. And the last thing we're going to do is score them because A, you want to let some steam out as they bake or they may burst. And number two, it looks quite pretty. So all you want to do is pop these into the middle of your oven on gas mark for 180C or 350F for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're kind of brownish like this. And as you can see, they didn't turn out the perfect squares that I'd hoped for, but they were absolutely delicious nonetheless. I mean, look at these, absolutely amazing. The combination of the warm, you know, flaky pastry and that potatoey, cheesy, oniony filling, it was just absolutely delicious. So I just served these very, very simply with some baked beans and a baked potato with a wee bit of butter inside. But they are more commonly eaten, you know, just on the go in your hand. In fact, I don't think most folk can make it out the shop with these. They usually have them in their hand, eat them as they walk out the shop. Very, very popular indeed. In fact, all over the country. And they do chicken ones and they do steak ones and their sausage rolls are also very popular. But they look a wee bit different to these. They are a perfect square and they're quite flat and they have got quite a bit of filling inside. But I gave it a go and I'm glad I did because they were absolutely delicious, like I said. So thank you very much for watching. And if you're thinking about, you know, giving these a go for yourself, I'll leave the ingredients underneath the video. And if you're not following me over on, over on Instagram, give me a wee follow over there and send me your pictures you know if you do end up making these because so many of you are now sending me your pictures of your tea and what you've made and doing my recipes and I just love it it's fantastic I just can't believe that you're here engaging with me and watching you know my wee, my wee recipes and my shopping hauls my meals of the week I'm very very thankful I feel very lucky and very blessed to be over here doing this and you guys are enjoying it so until I see you next which is going to be pretty probably the shopping haul I'd imagine and then meals of the week on Sunday. You mind to take care of yourselves and I'll see you very very soon back here on What's For Tea and I'll just leave you with this wee bit of scenery so take care of yourselves and bye for now. Bye now.